Today we're gonna make a homemade live well. It's real easy, you're only gonna need a few tools and some materials. First you're gonna need a pump, batteries, a drill and a drill bit, a hanger and some screws, a caulking gun and some waterproof caulking, and last but not least, a cooler. Let's get started. So we got our pump, and on the back of the pump, you have this knob you want to turn until the back comes off. All right. Inside you have your hose and your filter that goes on the end of the hose. So next thing you want to do, you want to put your batteries in. This one happens to take two D batteries. All right, make sure they're in there snug. Put the back on. All right, so I have my hanger. This is just a picture hanger you can get at any hardware store. Okay, and then screws here. So you don't need to drill a pilot hole. You just drill right in. Of course, you want to make sure that your screw is only going to go through the first layer here. You don't want it to puncture through in the inside layer. So make sure your screw is short enough. Okay, so my live well is going underneath my deck. And I'm going to situate my pump right here in the middle. Okay, because I have two posts coming down here that support the floor above it. So I'm going to put mine right in the middle. You have to figure out where you want yours situated. That's it. All right, so now we're gonna grab our pump. And as you can see, it has the hook on the back. And it's just gonna hook right onto this hanger. It's gonna sit there just like that. Next, we're gonna attach the hose of the pump. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna drill our hole to fit the end of our hose in. And we have this lip here, which is about three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna come down right about here so I'm going to mark it here, and we want our hole to be at or below the line. All right, so I'm using a quarter inch drill bit, and we're going to line it up. I got it right on the line here, and we're going to drill. Hose should fit in there snug. Perfect. So the reason why you want this hose at this line here, when this comes down and this lip closes underneath okay you want to make sure that it's not pushing down on this hose and choking off the airflow from the pump into the live well we're going to take our waterproof caulking and apply it to the outside and the inside And now we're just going to let that set up and dry for a while. Attach the air stone to the hose. And fill it up with water. Put some fish in it. And we're good to go. So yeah, this is a one gallon pitcher. And the pump pumps up to eight gallons. This holds 12 gallons. So eight of these. Eight. Perfect. All right, it's pumping. Now we just need to put some fish in there, right? Yep. Not bad. There you go. Fly rod produced. All right. Okay. 
right, I'm gonna throw them in the live well. Try the live well for the first time. All right, first fish in a new live well. And it's like 11 o'clock, so. Try it out for a little bit. How's that bass doing? Should be pretty good. Yes. Check him out. Oh well, yeah, he's doing good. About an hour later, live well's working good. Awesome. Live well's empty. Took a couple minutes. That's it. Well, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you're new to the channel and you want to like or subscribe, please do so by clicking the red button down below. It not only helps my channel out, it also helps you out so you won't miss out on any upcoming episodes. As always, enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you on the next adventure.